We live in a time where a lot of people are giving up on their faith. But the faith that is worthy of preaching, but is not worthy of dying for, should not be preached at the first place. How many of us can remain and will remain to the very last moment? It is not about just accepting Jesus Christ. It is about remaining with him to the very last moment. Peter boasted some time ago and said, Lord, I will go to prison with you. You will never die. I will never allow it. And Jesus told him that before the call crows, you will deny me three times. This is not about strength. This is not about human power. But there is one thing we have power to do. If we don't have the power to stand for Christ, if we don't have that power within ourselves or by ourselves, if we rely on the grace of God only to remain to the end, we have one power to do one thing, and that is the power to resolve. Resolving to remain in Christ to the end has to do with the human will. It has nothing to do with strength. It is about the human will. Imagine someone who is lying helpless on the bed, is sick, but can talk, yet resolves that I am not going to settle with this, my brother. Until I leave this world, I'm not going to settle with him. And right there on the deathbed, they hand over bitterness quarrels to their children and give their final word to their children that you see this my brother you see that family have nothing to do with them it's about the human will this is someone that is dying this is someone that has no power to jump up they have no power to fight but they have the power and the resolution the power to retain and sustain what they have resolved, never to settle with someone, even while on their deathbed. The same way, the power to resolve, to remain to the end, lies in your head. It's not about having physical strength or being a spiritual giant first, no. It is about a resolution, resolving in your heart that I'm going to remain. And then you leave the rest for Jesus Christ to supply all the strength you need. I said this several times. I give my life to Christ at the weakest moment of my life. When I, at a time that I had to reconcile myself back to God again, it was the very weakest moment of my life but the grace of God saw me through that moment because I was serious even though I had no strength in myself so it is not about human strength this is Jesus Christ talking to the church in Smyrna he said fear none of those things in verse 10 chapter 2 verse 10 fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. The gospel of Jesus Christ we are preaching is not for us to become rich. That is not the goal. Accepting Jesus Christ and following Jesus Christ is not to get rich. That is not the goal. The goal is salvation. That is why Jesus Christ said, Seek you first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and every other thing shall be added unto you. So the things that, should, that are to be added are not the goal. They are additions. We need them. It's not that we don't need them. We need them. 
but they should not be pursued. They are not our primary goal that we should seek. What we need to seek is a kingdom and the righteousness of God.